Hey everybody. Sorry. My fingers over the thing. So, <laughs> all right. What we're gonna try to do today is I'm going to maybe <laughs> there uh, I'm going to uh, load up a range bag <laughs> so let me show you what I got here um, this is I just dumped out my old range bag on the table and I'm going to, well, what I'm really doing is kind of breaking it up into two bags. Um, because I don't really, when you put all the like admin stuff in one range bag and then you go try to throw in ammo and all that kind of stuff too, then it just gets too big and bulky and too much. So I'm gonna break it down where I put all the admin stuff in this uh, very cool, they call it the Jumbo Bailout Bag from LA Police Gear. And it's got uh, two sides on it, shoulder strap, bunch of pockets and all that kind of stuff. And it's only 40 bucks, um, which I thought was a, a really good price because it's, it's built very well, very heavy duty. Um, I don't I don't see any issues with it right off the bat, but I just thought I'd just sit here and just chat with you guys and um, um, Load this thing up and then you could tell me if I forgot anything <laughs> You know as I'm as I'm going so let me uh, Try to get the chat on here. I don't know if I'll be able to See all of it very well or not but I'll do my best. So hopefully you guys can see that. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with medical. Um, I think every range bag should probably have some medical in there. Um, you know, make sure you've got a blowout kit, make sure you've got some tourniquets, all that kind of stuff. Um, I just noticed something, this is totally off topic but I just noticed something um, the other day, or actually today, I was pulling out this blowout kit, which is a surplus uh, GI unit. And I think I bought it at a gun show, if I remember correctly. And uh, so it's got, the, it's got the blowout kit side, and then it's got like the, the boo-boo, first aid stuff, you know what I mean? And then it also had some combat gauze and a tourniquet and a cat tourniquet. It says it's cat tourniquet. <laughs> um, but it's not a North American rescue cat tourniquet, which I thought all the GI kits were supposed to have um, the actual cat tourniquet brand in them. But apparently I was wrong. <laughs> so you might want to check if you guys have, the reason I'm bringing this up to you is if you guys have some older GI surplus stuff, um, you might want to check it and make sure that it's an actual authentic North American rescue tourniquet because these uh, are not as good. The cheap ones are not as good as the actual North American rescue ones. I could do another video on that if you guys are interested. Um, I think Bear Independent just did a video on this not too long ago where he um, explained you know, how to see the difference between the two and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, just something, just something to think about. He, he's probably got it on there or I can do another video, whatever. But it's important to know the differences. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to put the first aid stuff on these side pouches. I have a ton of crap on this table right now. <laughs> I can't hardly reach everything. And that way they, they will be 
easily accessible. Let's put the. Let's put. So let's put. Now these these um, these pockets do come with you know like interior pockets inside of them. So if you wanted to use this as like an admin bag or something like that, you could totally do that. Um, I'm just going to use it for a range bag though, so, you know, that's the way it goes. So these are already pre-loaded, right, kind of set up and ready to go. I'm going to put them over here. Even the cheap one I'll have as a last resort, in case I need an extra. So that'll get the big first aid items right there on the side where I can access them pretty easily. And then because it has uh, some Velcro patches, I'll try to I'll try to put some some patches over there too that uh, signify what it is, you know. Okay, so. The next thing is going to be cleaning kits. Um, this is just a little portable AR-15 cleaning kit. I think it's from Avid. Um, <laughs> I think it's from Avid. I don't remember sure. I think that's who it is. Anyway, um, just in case, look at that. We got a pocket that almost almost looks like it's made for it. It's a little snug. Oh, it's just barely too small. Oh, nope. There we go. So we got that in there. This is a little pistol cleaning kit from Lyman. Um, you just never know when you gotta, when you're messing with stuff. It's just about perfectly there. Uh, let's see, what else do we got in here? I think that looks like a good spot for this knife. I always have knives and stuff. <laughs> this is the uh, Holtzman Survival knife, uh, the D2 steel one. Uh, we did a review on it a while back. Just because you never know. I think I can throw a, I think I can throw a screwdriver in there as well. Like that. And I've got a multi-tool here. This is just a SOG, uh, little SOG multi-tool. We'll throw that down in that pocket as well. Just to kind of fill it up. Uh, one more. We got, we got room for one more. Cheapo multi-tool Walmart special. Okay, we'll throw that in there. Now, let's see, what's gonna be next? Where are we gonna go with this stuff? This is uh, First Alert. Um, it's, a, it's a kind of a fire extinguisher. I've been shooting multiple times and had uh, range fires pop up, especially if you're shooting tracers out in the summertime, which is not a good idea probably. But it's not a bad idea to keep some sort of a, a fire extinguisher. Um, it, you could get a bigger one or whatever to keep in your truck or something like that, but not a bad deal to throw in a uh, range bag either. Okay, throw that in the little water bottle pocket. Just like that. And let's see, we got you know, some pockets here, some smaller pockets. I think I'm going, no, I think I'm going to use that for my dummy rounds. So I've got some, got some dummy rounds for shotguns. I got some for uh, 40 cal, which I hardly ever shoot. Some 9mm and some 5.56. Five, so we're going to throw these in there. It's always a good idea to train with dummy rounds. If you don't have any, 
you really should think about picking some up because even just, uh, hey, what's up, DB? Um, even if you've only got, you know, like five or ten each and you throw them in there to, um, you know, just kind of help with uh, drills and, and clearing your magazines and all those kinds of things, it's a really good idea to do that. So, what was in there again? Oh, yeah, pistol painting kits. Okay. So, we got another compartment here on the side. So, this is... This is, uh, this is a side panel and it also has a, a, Velcro, a Velcro field in here. So that way you can put in uh, like the universal uh, pistol holsters and stuff like that if you wanted to. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna put in here. Right now I think I'm just gonna go with, again, I'm still trying to figure all this out, what'll be best in what place. I think I'm gonna throw some earplugs some Kleenex and or toilet paper. Never go to the rain without toilet paper. <laughs> and what else, what's next? what's next? I think I'm gonna put the rags, just, you know, oily, oily gun rags. And I'll put that in the center. Just throw this shamag in here too. All right, so I'll throw that in there. Then in the center, you have a divided compartment in the center, and then you've got magazine uh, pockets over here. You can see that, and I think I've got a magazine there. Yeah, so it's made to perfectly fit. Uh, magazine pockets right there and there's several of them so how many does it got one two three four so it's made it's got four four magazine pockets and then additional pockets on this side right here and then um, zipper pockets over here so, with the zipper pockets, I think what I'm going to do is utilize those for, I've got a whole bunch of like shotgun, shotgun choke stuff. Got some shotgun chokes there. Got these are little small 28 gauge ones for a 28 gauge we got it. And a wrench, and an AR-15 spoon, a couple of them. There's some 12 gauge chokes. I don't know, just some small miscellaneous stuff. So I'm gonna put those down in, in this pocket. That way they don't get lost. And I'll know where they're at if I need them, which I never do. <laughs> and all this stuff is all just miscellaneous as well. All right, so that is that. Oh, one more. And let's see. I'll put this one down here just next to it at the bottom. All right. Next to that, I'm going to throw in some batteries. You never know if you're doing nighttime training, you know, having some CR123s for flashlight. Got an extra uh, magazine loader, which I've never used before. Um, jim, jim, jim. Tape measure. Measure in groups, marker, knife, and cleaning brush. Actually, I'm gonna put that in here. Cleaning brush in there with the pistol kit. And what else we got? Oh, a boar snake for a shotgun. Last 
then we put on the other side is a stapler. Oops. And oh, yeah, yeah. Quickly running out of room. <laughs> okay, so if you've never if you if you've never trained with elbow pads when you're out on the range, you should really do it. <laughs> because it's so much more enjoyable shooting from prone, you know, supported positions and unsupported positions and all that kind of stuff. What I got <laughs> was I couldn't find elbow pads anywhere, so I went and I got a set of soft volleyball pads. These are Under Armour, and they're 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 knee pads for like girls' age, <laughs> but they work on on the guns. <laughs> they work very well for that. Uh, so think about that. It makes all the difference, and it, it really is a lot more enjoyable when you're training. Also, a good set of knee pads. Uh, again, just especially if you're like me, getting old, you know, it's not, uh, it's not cool banging up your knees. And then a set of gloves. Alright. We're just about full. Uh, safety glasses. And earmuffs. And I think that's it. I got an extra set of earmuffs here, but I'll put that leave those in the other bag. So yeah, I think we're golden. Okay, so that's pretty well packed up. What else we got? We got one more pocket here. Oh, that's just an admin pocket for like pins and stuff. So. So there we go. So we got that all packed up. Uh, like I said, that this bag is 40 bucks over at LA Police Gear. And I think it's a hell of a deal. Uh, I am an affiliate with them, but looking at, it's got a padded shoulder strap here too. Um, just looking at the quality of the construction on these and all that kind of stuff for the price. I'm trying to think of, of another company that has got this reasonable of prices for gear that's this well made. And I'm not, I'm not coming up with any right off the bat. <laughs> um, 3V gear also has good gear. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking reasonable price-wise, you know what I'm saying? Like trying to be in the same category and everything like that. But these guys, they're putting together good products. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. So now, um, if you guys just want to chat, we can chat for a little bit. I don't know how long we've been live. We've been live 18 minutes. So trying to... See if I can see anything in the chat here real quick. Yeah, Voodoo Tactical, they're not bad. <laughs> DB says he's not going to get on his knees for at least another year. He had the motorcycle accident, so he's a little, little jacked up. Alright. Where do I keep my Glock at? It's in a a box down in the basement, locked up in the bottom of a safe that I never use. <laughs> Cause Glocks, meh, meh. All right. Okay, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else. I'd like to take a class from Rex Tubor as well. Um, seems like he's a good dude. I like, I like him. I like his channel. If you guys aren't subscribed to Tibisaurus Rex, you should definitely go over there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I don't really see anything else. So anyway, guys, 
that was that. Um, just showing you a cool bag from LA Police Gear. They call it their Jumbo Bailout Bag. Um, I think it makes a decent sized, um, like a range bag. Um, kind of like an admin, like an admin range bag. Like all the stuff that you always take, but you're not gonna probably wanna pile in all the ammo and all that kind of stuff too, you know? Um, probably a bag, a more, more of a, a typical range bag like that would be one of those ones that you do, um, hey, what's going on, Matt? You know, that you do your ammo and all that kind of stuff in, because it's got a little bit more room for like the loose boxes and everything. But my problem is, is I, when I pile everything all into one, then I just never have quite enough room. So I wanted to kind of break them down into two different ones. But anyhow, um, I think that's pretty much it. I don't really know anything unless you guys have got anything in the comments. Um, pretty sure that we've entered an alternate timeline in reality <laughs> because every day I j it just shit gets weirder and weirder and weirder. Oh, I just saw one other thing. I want to put some rim oil in here because I always like rim oil. I don't know. I haven't had any issues with it. And that'll go right in the side pocket there where the water bottle container is. So, or water bottle pouch. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to get this bag, there will be a link in the description below to go out to uh, LA Police Gear. <laughs> yeah, you cracked me up, TV. Anyway, um, it's a good deal. It looks like a good deal to me. It looks like a great little bag, and I'm looking forward to getting it out and testing it. So it's the it's the Hadron Collider. Yeah. Uh, uh, something something's happened because the news every day is just just bonkers but anyway have a good day guys i'll see you later